All right, so with the launch of AMD 7000 series of CPUs, a lot has changed. There's a new socket, the introduction of PCI Gen 5 as well as DDR5, and no longer pins on the back of your CPU, and also the new motherboards, the X670, which is gonna be the premium line, and the B650 series, which is gonna be the more affordable, you know, motherboard series, which we also have to take a look at today. This is gonna be your first look at the B650 boards for AMD 7000 series of CPUs, and specifically the MSI MAG, Mortar Wi-Fi, the B650M Mortar Wi-Fi. We're gonna be taking a look at the motherboard itself, the unboxing experience, and also let's talk about what's new and what's changing with the new 7000 series motherboards from AMD. With that being said, let's get started. All right, so starting off the unboxing of the board itself, you've got the motherboard on top, and next you have all the cables and screws you need to get your PC build up and running, and also for the Wi-Fi, you've got the Wi-Fi antennas. So a really simple unboxing experience, your quick start guide, your stickers, which you can put on your PC if you want to. But with that out of the way, let's talk about the board itself, the design and build quality. The form factor on this one is micro ATX, so it's a really cute small board, but the size, doesn't really you know give out its features and performance it's a really powerful board in my opinion it's got a six layer pcb so it's thicker compared to your you know normal boards and also the build quality is really nice msi uses all the best components as well as the look on this motherboard the design is really nice i really like this you know color scheme as well as how it's design there's a lot of thought and effort that goes into these designs and talking about the new socket AM5 and AMD has switched to LGA now which stands for land grid array now you've got a 1718 socket so unlike previous CPUs where your pins were on the back of the processor itself now they're on your motherboard so if you drop your CPU it's fine but don't bend the pins on the motherboard but other than that you've got DDR5 support this motherboard itself has got DDR5 and PCI Gen 5 support also comes in, but in other boards. This specific B650 board, the Mortar Wi-Fi, does not have PCI Gen 5, but there are other boards in MSI's lineup, like the Extreme Series board. So the X670E as well as the B650E will give you both M.2 Gen 5 as well as PCI Gen 5. So for your storage as well as your graphic card, the X670 boards will give you M.2 Gen 5 for your storage and the B650 without any E branding will give you PCI Gen 4 but DDR5 support. So that's that. And again, it's got all the basic I.O. So you've got the USB Type-C 20G port. So two USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 2 ports. These are four times faster than Gen 1 ports. You've got one for your you know, PC cabinet, the front panel USB-C, and one is on the back of your motherboard on the IO shield, which is really helpful if you're transferring big files for your you know, content creators and stuff like that. When you're transferring video files and just large amounts of data, the 20G port will give you 20 gigabits per second output, which makes things a lo whole lot easier. And you've also got the latest connectivity options. So 2.5G LAN, Wi-Fi 6E, as well as Bluetooth 5.2, and support for 6 gigahertz spectrum. And in terms of audio, you've got MSI's Audio Boost technology here, which means that you will get 384 kilohertz, 32 bit, 120 decibel audio. And this will be able to power some higher end headphones like Studio Mountain and stuff like that. And you get really good quality out of them. And talking about the power design on this one, you've got a 12 plus two plus one duet rail power system with 80 amp smart power stages. And the VRM is really strong on this motherboard. So it, you should be able to overclock your CPU as well as keep it stable. And you know, MSI's VRMs have been always really good. So that's really nice. You also have memory boost technology to give you the max performance out of your RAM. And talking about RAM, the DDR5 RAM from Kingston, this is their Fury Beast RAM and it has RGB as well as 5600 megahertz speed. This can be overclocked again. Really nice looking RAM and the 7000 series CPUs can definitely make use of DDR5 dual channel and give you some insane performance. So I'll leave a link to this memory kit in the description down below. You guys can check it out. And now talking about storage on this motherboard, you've got the PCI Gen 4 lightning slot on this one with M.2 you know, shield frozer, which will keep your M.2 SSD is cool because PCI Gen 4 and Gen 5 SSDs do get really hot when they're transferring big files at higher speeds. So the M.2 Shield Frozer is going to be really helpful. And this motherboard is also going to be compatible with MSI Center software, which is going to be a one-stop shop for everything to customize about your PC. So monitoring as well as customizing 
you know, monitoring your fan speed, your CPU temperature, GPU temperature, as well as customizing all the RGB in your PC, MSI Center software is going to be able to do that. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was our first look at MSI's P650M Mortar Wi-Fi board. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. As well as, I hope you guys had fun and like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss out on future uploads like this. But that being said, my name has been Yusuf. You guys have been awesome. Stay awesome, keep smiling, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yo, yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check Give it a microphone, I make them make it a microphone dead Don't step to me newbie, I could truly be moody I could have played the fucking Grinch in the movies I've been a part-time shadow cat, part-time That is not a guy that I would ever want to try to battle rap Snap, crack a pop, mind fried to a crisp Make an MC into a wide-eyed lunatic